Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So I'm making this video for you guys because I have been self-quarantined for a little while now and currently my county has the most cases of the virus in my state. So I think it's really important for me to just stay indoors and I really wanted to share that with you guys. So my morning started out with breakfast i had some overnight oats sitting in the fridge and i will leave this recipe for you guys down below you probably have everything you need for it in your pantry already and it's really really easy and very delicious so usually in the mornings i like to chill like i like to be comfy sip on my coffee eat my breakfast and this morning i was just checking up on some emails checking up on school related things like announcements we've been getting announcements very frequently from my school since i've been on spring break for the second week so far and my school should be starting back up but i will be doing online classes instead of face to face so I just kind of like to check up on things to make sure that there isn't anything that I need to know or need to be aware of. So once I'm done with breakfast, I decided to get some cleaning done and I started out with the dishes just to make sure that everything was clean. I usually will sanitize the counters and things like that to make sure that, you know, no germs get spread around the house or anything like that. Once the kitchen was cleaned, I decided to tidy up my bathroom because it was in a little bit of a mess. I've kind of been in and out of there lately. I still try to do my skincare routine. I try to keep some sense of normalcy, so I'll still get dressed just like I normally do. I will still, you know, do my skincare, just do everything that I normally do because I feel like if we, you know, put our minds towards, okay, we're going to stay at home, I feel like that can be a little bit depressing. So I just try to, you know, make things feel normal. And one of those things is making sure my house is clean and nice and tidy. <laughs> I also decided to light all my candles on my little stand over my toilet. I don't know why, it just gives me a real relaxed vibe whenever I walk into my bathroom. It smells really nice. I mean, I just love it, you guys. I love candles. So I kind of organized my counter space. It's a little bit messy, but I left out everything that I used and I am obsessed with the Clean Beauty skincare brand. I love it. But after I got done cleaning, I decided to, well, Corey decided actually to make us some lunch and go for a walk. So that's exactly what he did. And then we went on the walk and it was a little bit rainy, but it was so pretty outside. I mean, it had just stopped raining for our walk and he made us some chicken salad sandwiches and we had some watermelon and I had some water in my tumbler and it was just a fun time. It's just really good to get out of the house as long as you're not around anybody, but we really enjoyed our time outside. Once I got home, I decided to brew up some of this Yogi tea. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this tea. It really does give me a little bit of energy. And then I decided to, you know, go into my office and get some work done. And whenever I say office, I mean my bed. 
because that is where I get most of my work done. I don't know why, I just like being comfy and cozy when I get my work done. So uh, this afternoon, I was working on my Comp 2 assignment, which is a research paper. So I was taking a couple notes and I was doing a little bit of research. So I was searching some databases for some info on the topic that I'm writing my paper on. And yeah, I mean, I just like to maintain some sort of productivity and productivity doesn't always have to mean like you up walking around doing things. It's just doing things that need to get done. And this just happened to be one of those things. Later that night, it was dinner time, so I decided to make some salmon and sweet potato fries, and Corey was helping me cut up the sweet potatoes, because I always have a hard time cutting those up. Do you guys? I do all the time. And we put those in the air fryer, and then I put my sauce on my salmon, and this sauce just consisted of garlic, lemon, and a little bit of honey, and salt and pepper, of course, and it was so good. This salmon turned out really, really well. I highly recommend this. I cooked my salmon for about 15 minutes at 350, and it was just really yummy. After dinner, I usually like to kind of wind down, and one of those ways is by turning on my little lanterns. I got these on Amazon, and I absolutely love them, but turning those on, turning on my fairy lights, if those aren't already on, and just turning off the big light in my room, it kind of just gives such a relaxing vibe. I love it so much, and I had to film the rain because it decided to pick up a little bit and the sound of that was super relaxing as well just uh, I love it so much you guys <laughs> so and then I decided to have a cup of hot tea and this was lavender chamomile hot tea and just a little bit of dark chocolate I don't know why but dark chocolate and hot tea is just I love them so so much Next, I just plopped down on my bed with my Bible and I decided to read a little bit. I will usually read if I'm feeling a little bit anxious. And this evening, I was flipping through the conservice because at the back of the Bible, there's different keywords that you can look for. And this night, I was looking for fear. And I thought that this would be beneficial to you guys as well so you could screenshot. So that night, I decided to read Matthew 10, 28. And honestly, it really helped helped me out you guys it really made me realize that the only thing that I should be afraid of is God and that's it so I really hope that that helped you out if you are struggling as well I just wanted to pop in at the end of the video just to say that I love you guys. Thank you all so much for all of your support on my channel. And just know that I am praying for you and I am hoping that all of you are staying safe and healthy and happy and calm. That is something that is so important to me. Of course, we're staying safe, we're staying home and all that, but staying calm learning to relax, learning to let go, and just doing the things that help to relax us in this crazy time. So I hope that this video helped you out a little bit and gave you a little bit of calmness and relaxation in your day. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Stay beautiful. Bye.